Let's go upstairs. I want to talk to you about something. Let me do this video some justice and bring you to my podcast room. Hashtag storage. <laughs> but this wall is the podcast wall. Man, best thing I ever bought was this uh, condenser mic. And that little board goes into the laptop. Yeah. Daddy's happy. Let's do this. Hey, you guys, welcome back to day six of my 40 day vlogging challenge that I gave to myself. If uh, you want to jump on board, start it up, man. You can totally do this. Um, again, these vlogs do not have to be long. I just I'm encouraging myself to get in the habit of posting more frequently. So why not do a challenge? Right. And you guys watching these videos are going to hold me accountable every single day. So today is day six that makes me very happy um i want to talk about something that's been on my mind a lot lately honestly which is every time i go to publish a video the question of do i monetize or not and the reasoning for that is this you know so i've been monetized for a while now and i'll be honest you guys see me cranking out some videos right and watch time is is good i've got thousands of hours of of watch time uh per every couple of months like that kind of thing right the revenue you make from youtube ad sense doesn't make sense <laughs> honestly um i think i've got a whole eight bucks in my youtube account right now eight dollars for all this work so this is what i'm trying to explain to you one i do youtube for me I do it for me. I do it for my business being on Google. Google owns YouTube, yada, yada, yada. So as a business, this is my presence. It is the number one best way to get in front of everyone these days is something like this. Okay. Uh, second thing, of course, is wouldn't it be nice to earn some dollars for doing this work? So let me give you a little scenario real quick. I had a realtor buddy of mine call and say, hey, I want to do like when I'm showing off a house, a vlog style like you're doing of showing the house. Like he wants to be on camera. He'll be the, you know, celebrity of the channel. It's his business. Why not? And um, wouldn't that be cool? What would you charge me? And the way we business people think is kind of backwards. We think of instead of the, the, the beginning down to the bottom as far as like your checklist i want you to flip that and think about the end product what is the final product he wants or she wants okay they want a five minute video um it's gonna have how much time of editing because of all the how many rooms are in the house the property all that stuff so you're thinking about the final product then you start going backwards as far as how much time is it going to take to go photograph it video it then it's going to be how long are the edits going to take me and you know that kind of thing i can tell you this it would easily be in uh, in the low end i, I would say two hundred dollars two hundred dollars is easily on the low end okay that's one job so yes it is six hours worth of work but it's also considered i did that in one day right so in one day's time, by that evening, I could be done. Shoot it in the morning, edit it, do other stuff, nighttime, or even the next day, because he's not in a rush, or she. And, uh, you know, all is good, okay? AdSense, the reason why it doesn't make sense to me, as a business person, okay, is whatever product is being sold as an ad on your channel, okay, if one person buys their product one they're making out large because you are literally getting pennies pennies okay so again it's great validation to be monetized i i love you know completing my goal to get here it's just i don't think all of my videos are worthy of you being stuck watching ads um, if you're a larger creator in the millions of views and subscribers that's probably a big difference man i'm sure they're making a lot more money but it just i don't know 
something's just not right to me being smaller and I have an unknown color good afternoon GK this is George so anyway this is my vlog today I, I have work I have dinner to cook in, in a handful of hours but from me to you tell me in the comments your thoughts on the monetization thing um, I, I know it's a validity thing because I mean it, it validates me I like it sounds great but when you look at how many videos you're putting out and the more work and effort you put into doing your videos which you should be doing you want to get better um, all that aside I just want you the creator to consider the fact that it's not that big of a deal to be monetized if you're thinking about the money you know if it's just about the money you're gonna be highly depressed very if it's not and you're enjoying what you're doing like I am and it does give you validity and it just gives you some mm, positive energy to keep on doing what we're doing keep rocking it man that's what I'm gonna do but it ain't about the money <laughs> okay you guys stay focused on your dreams tomorrow is day seven one full week of vlogging every day and editing on the same day and posting the same day I can't get one extra in the can to get ahead <laughs> all right day six uh, is done I have a job tomorrow the um, it's an hour plus away so I'm packing up to leave so you know how you see those videos of what's in my camera bag well let me show you I am ready to go I've got everything in this one bag. I love my new bag. I did decide to get the Peter McKinnon camera bag and I gotta be honest, this is one of the nicest bags I think I've ever owned as far as quality goes and what I can do with my storage compartments. If you do get this bag, it's the Nomadic bag and what's neat is you have to get this cube, dude. Let me show you, let me show you the cube. I like being as compact as possible. When I'm on a job, I'm carrying this bag on my back and I'm holding one stand for my light. And I'm trying to find an extra small stand that'll fit in here, that'll go up as high as I need it. Anyway, check it out. This is all in here. This, I just got this. This is the flashpoint which is the same thing as the um, 8200. I didn't know this, but Adorama owns this now. That's why the Evolve is their name brand of the AD200. AD so check it out. What I love about the cube is that everything, first of all, it fits in there perfectly. That's uh, the range pouch, it's the medium from Peak Design. I love this because this little Velcro part when you're working your job, it makes it very quiet. All of this are my accessories. What I dig is all of the space that I have in here. I mean, I have pockets galore. So check this out. Look at that. Now, when I go out of town and shoot a job, my clothes for a one night, two night stay will fit in here if you don't have that many clothes. <laughs> but I just use this as my camera bag. Look. Other accessories, that's my batteries, that's some other little thingies. This isn't even being utilized yet, like at all. But that's on the flip side. And your computer, your laptop fits in the back too, on the side. Look at this. Lens caps galore. And really quick, I can reach and get some gum right on the outside. All right, 15 inch MacBook Pro. Unzip. Now I can tell you this, when I shot the Sugar Bowl, this was amazing when I shot the Sugar Bowl. Laptop, camera gear, charges, everything is in one bag. Check this out, so you're in the airport. You put your camera bag down. It's always falling over, right? It's always falling the wrong way. Look at this. Okay, I don't know. It's designed to stand up vertically. No more of this. Look, look at my, look what I have to do to make it fall over. 
that wants to sit up. Isn't that cool? That's cool.